Welcome to visit Kisumu where you can find and explore. You can be able to search for the best places to tour, to eat, to drink, to shop nearest you. Save time and hustle. Let us find it quick and easy for you. We've got our Visit Kisumu magazine. Please do check out with us at www.visitkisumu.co.ke As a maiden edition, we gave you for free info at visitkisumu.co.ke Welcome to the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary run by the KWS. Kisumu Impala Sanctuary was established to protect impalas from unnecessary poaching. The park is situated right here in Milimani, uh, Kisumu along Harambe Road. Uh, as you can see, we are right here at the gate. The sanctuary boasts the big four except uh, of the elephant with over 115 species of birds and good grazing area for rare hippos. The Kisumu Impala Sanctuary run by the Kenya Wildlife Service covers about one square kilometer branded with various sunset trail walks where you can explore spectacular landscapes, bird watching and wildlife. The sanctuary has been extended with animal enclosures that protect several animals including the rare Sitatunga antelopes, a growing monkey family, a scavenger, a leopard, a pride of lions, a dazzle of zebras, buffalo, and so much more. Today we take a walk from here at the entrance where a number of people, families accompanied by tour guides, a majority students will take their walk around the various animal enclosures and then we take you down the Impala Trail. Meet Warden in Charge, Collins Ochieng. My name is Collins Ochieng. I'm the Warden in Charge, Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. It is one of the parks within uh, the KWS family. It is situated uh, in the lakeside city of Kisumu. It is a very good place to unwind, relax, and enjoy uh, nature. This facility uh, has both uh, captive and free-ranging animals, wild animals. The free-ranging animals we have are uh, the zebras. Uh, occasionally we have the hippos coming in. We have the impalas and we have tortoise. Yes, as you can see right at the entrance here, we've got uh, zebras grazing on an early morning. Grazing on an early morning and uh, this is the path we are taking, just a few minutes walk. The animals are put in cages. We have both the carnivores and the herbivores. The carnivores, we have the lions, we have the leopard, we have the hyena, and uh, we also have a cheetah. Eve was brought in 11 years ago from Maralal. Uh, she was orphaned due to human wildlife conflicts. We've taken her in since she was nine months. She's now 11 years. And, uh, and, and uh, a leopard is an animal that is a good climber. That is why you see the tree branches in her cage have been trimmed, so that she cannot climb out of it. If there is any tree that uh, the branch is uh, extending out of the cage, then it becomes a danger and uh, a risk to our visitors. And so you will see from that tree, 
from that tree exactly you're seeing the cage and they've ensured that the cheetah doesn't climb up this tree so that it does not uh, jump over the fence that's the fortification it's a very secured place so here we have the ostrich on our cage here's the ostrich on our cage uh, on this cage you've got the wattle and the ostrich the ostrich is quite one of the biggest birds actually if not the biggest should be the biggest bird as you can see we have a male ostrich it is a male maasai ostrich the male ostriches are black and white in the bird family the males are more attractive than the females a female uh, ostrich is usually gray in color so the the male would lay on the eggs at night and in the morning it is the female so it is dual for the ostrich family the ostrich and the warthog can coexist they don't fight but assuming it was a buffalo put together with the uh, warthogs then uh, the buffalo would likely injure the warthogs These are the helmeted guinea fowls. The helmeted guinea fowls here at the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. These are the helmeted guinea fowls kept here at the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. Just like any other guinea fowl, this species has an unfeathered head and it's decorated with a dull yellow or reddish brown. The bony knob you can see here on the neck also. These are the characteristics of this guinea fowl. In 2010, you might have seen this bird being flown into the air. This was the bird, and it's being kept here at the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. One of the birds is being kept here at the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. It's there. It's characterized by a fan-shaped tail. Uh, the tail is composed of about uh, 30 to 40 feathers. It's called the white panther tail dove. This is the white panther tail dove, as you can see here at the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. Impalas are medium sized antelopes that roam the savanna and light woodlands. When food is plentiful, they may gather in large herds of several hundreds of animals to browse on grasses and herbs, bushes, shrubs, and shoots. The impala is one of the most common and most graceful of all Africa's antelopes. A slender, agile creature, it can clear formidable obstacles and run at speeds of faster than 60 kilometers an hour. They are fleet runners who can leap up to 10 meters in length and 3 meters in height. They use their tremendous speed and agility to avoid predation and seemingly for pure enjoyment. Here are the Sitatunga antelopes. The Sitatunga is a rare swamp dwelling antelope. It is distinguished by its long split hooves. The hooves make them clumsy and vulnerable on farm terrain but well adapted for walking through muddy vegetated swamplands. The male scots are grayish brown while females are chocolate brown with six to eight vertical and white stripes on the body. Males are also considerably larger with females having long twisting horns. The impalas are free-ranging. That means they are exuded. They are allowed to walk around. Uh, the antelopes you saw in the cage, you have the eland which is the biggest, followed by the bush buck, then the bush dikers. Those ones can, can live together. And then we have a rare animal called a sititunga. It lives in wetlands. Though it was rescued in Homa Bay, brought in, we are trying to put up an ecosystem that is friendly to its survival uh, in the nature. The herbivores, we have a buffalo, we have Sitatunga, we have an eland, and uh, bush duikers and bush bugs. We also have the omnivorous, we have the uh, olive baboons, velvet monkeys, psych monkey, 
the blue monkey. And here we have the blue monkey. There you have her. The blue monkey, the Swahili name for the blue monkey is Kima. So this one here uh, was brought on 7th of November 2009 at approximately two weeks old and uh, he was being bottle fed. If you have your daycare, nursery, school or college, restaurant, bar, beauty, spas, real estate, resorts, Airbnb and car rental, please find out how you can list with us. Today we are talking about the best attractions and in this segment we have prepared for you something on the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. Here a family of baboons and monkeys call Kisumu their home. The young ones born continue to enjoy the safety, rich grassland, trees and have made friends among their cousins. Life for them is in a safety net and this means home. A zebra features in one of the extraordinary spectacles of the natural world as we see in Serengeti. But here in Kisumu, zebras are found a home. Did you know that when a herd of zebra merge together, their stripes make it almost impossible for predators to single out an individual animal. And that a zebra's stripes are diverse. It is like identifying fingerprints in that zebra stripes are totally unique to each animal. There is only one species of buffalo in Africa, but four distinct subspecies do exist. Of all species, savanna buffaloes are large, heavy cow-like animals. They vary greatly not only in size, but in the shapes of their horns and their coloring. We have a buffalo called Big Ben. Big Ben is two years old. Uh, he's the only buffalo we have around. Buffaloes can weigh up to 800 kilos, the big bulls. Uh, the bulls tend to isolate themselves from the herd uh, because they are, that is part of their behavior. And uh, also they can defend themselves against uh, most of the carnivores. Both males and females have heavy, ridged horns that grow straight from the head or curve downwards and then up. The horns are formidable weapons to fight for dominance and win against predators and scavengers like the hyenas. Um, in the wild, hyenas live in uh, families that are headed by a female, the largest female and the oldest female is usually uh, their setup. But in this case, you know, this is a facility that uh, concentrates on animals in distress. So uh, say like that hyena, it was brought in due to human wildlife conflict uh, in some parts of uh, CIA County. So it was brought in, it was injured by uh, the communities because it had fed on their livestock. That is the reason why when you look at its face keenly, you'll see it has a scar. We brought it in, took care of it, right now it's doing quite well. Next in our walk here at the Impala Sanctuary, we are getting to see the cheetah. And a cheetah's spots cover nearly its entire body and may serve as camouflage by offsetting shadows in the grass. As you are seeing right now, it's lying deep down there quietly in camouflage. Camouflage is not only essential for stalking prey, but also for protecting cheetah cubs. And with the ability to accelerate from 0 to 45 in just 3 seconds, these cards are built for speed. Cheetahs live in areas with grasslands, savannas, dense vegetation and mountainous terrain. And that explains why this cheetah could be loving that kind of a place under the trees. 
all right thank you so very much for watching this video up to this point thank you for taking a walk with us through the trails here at the kisumu impala sanctuary which is run by the kws now to the part that you all have been waiting for we are here to see the ruler of the cats the most sociable of all big cats the lion a lion has a muscular, deep-chested body, short, round head, round ears, and a hairy tuft at the end of its tail. Now, the warden in charge here, Collins Ocheng, explains more. We have um, four lions. The oldest one is called Jin. She's in a cage on her own. The other three, there's a, there are two males. I mean, there's one male and two females. Amongst the lions, the youngest is the male. But in terms of body size, it is the biggest. In uh, Panthera Leo family, the males have males. The females don't. They say the bigger the male, the more attractive it is. And another thing, um, people should know about lions is that um, when the males grow up, they're just away from the pride. They go wander around. When they feel they're strong enough, they'll go take over the next pride they, they get along. Yes. We usually feed uh, the lions. We give them seven kilograms of meat daily. We only starve them on Sundays where they don't eat. But when you give them food, we ensure the food has a lot of bone in it so that uh, they can use their clothes and other body muscles too, to feed like they do in nature. As we get ready for the Afri City Summit, the sanctuary can be visited all year round and it's very accessible and passable, one of the places you can go for a day trip and explore the world. The park can be accessed through Harambe Road straight from the CBD and also from Milimani uh, using Ring Road you make a left turn. By road, it is about 355 kilometers north of Nairobi and 3 kilometers from Kisumu town. Kisumu Impala Sanctuary can also be accessed by water through a ferry from Bita Bay, Homa Bay and Kendu Bay. For tourists interested in using air transport, you can reach Kisumu Impala Sanctuary by domestic chartered flights to Kisumu and this takes about only an hour and you land to Kisumu International Airport. In addition, we have various uh, attractions uh, within the facility. People can enjoy the sundowner, people can do camping. Photography can be done at the same time. We are, we are soon introducing uh, motorbikes. Not motorbikes, mountain bikes. Um, this facility charges only 215 shillings for adult citizens. And when I say adult citizens, I mean uh, the entire East African community. For children, it is 125 shillings. We are open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in the evening. Um, another activity people can enjoy is enjoying uh, leisurely walks within the facility. The people who love birds, we also have 150 uh, variety or species of birds they can come and enjoy. As you can see, we are now on the Impala Trail, uh, stretches away down about a kilometer of 342 species of birds flying every 24 hours across Kenya's wildlife. Kisumu Sanctuary Reserve boasts over 115 species of birds. This walk is a prime destination for a bird watching holiday at any time of the year. If you are looking for a place to come take a morning walk, an evening walk, watch the sunset, this is the place to be. Under the care of the Kenya Wildlife Service, the forest land around the park is a display of a diverse habitat that supports a great diversity of bird species. We have a nature walk um, from the gate to a place called the campsite. You can do a 1.6 kilometer walk one way. Two and four should be around three or 3.5 kilometers. We even have a rail track 
uh, that was built by the colonists those days. It is uh, a place that is good for families to do uh, teamwork or just bond. And uh, in between, uh, you get different um, setups. The places where you hop along uh, logs, the places where you walk on the railway, and then the places where you have to bend, stand, you know, it makes it a bit more exciting. Yes, yes, this is Visit Kisumu. We are making a tour around the Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. As you can see, so far, so good. Please, if you're looking for a place, if you're looking for information on uh, schools, colleges, restaurants and bars, places to eat, spas, beauty, restaurants, uh, real estate, resorts, Airbnb, where to stay, and car rental, please do get in touch with us. Visit uh, www.visitkisumu.co.ke Wherever you come from, as a resident of Kisumu or a visiting tourist or on your vacation here in Kisumu and its environs, you can enjoy picnics at the sanctuary with several picnic sites and have an exclusive wildlife adventure. There are several sport sites that can also be used for wedding receptions, corporate events and other functions. The picnic site here are five in number, namely Impala, Baboons, Fig Tree, Albizia and Sunset. If you would love to sleep close to the world, you can opt for a camping safari when the Eco Lodge reopens, providing you with all the necessary basic needs like uh, within the state lodge campsite, which will give great opportunities for your adventure with the chattering of birds. We had a hotel uh, within uh, the park, but this hotel was closed down due to increasing uh, water levels. Um, you realize that uh, the water level started rising in all the lakes in East Africa in the year 2020. So when the water levels came very high, or rose so high, then uh, the facility had to be closed down. They intend to do the renovations and very soon visitors will be allowed to come and enjoy. Boat rides complement a nature walk. With the number of boat riders and photographers having set base following demand by the activities availed at the sanctuary. We encourage uh, the visitors to Kisumu City to create time and come to Kisumu Impala Sanctuary. This is a very nice place to relax within the city. You may imagine you're in a forest somewhere deep in the Mau or somewhere in the mountains, but uh, the climate, the lake, the trees, give it uh, an ambience that you cannot get anywhere else within the city. Number two, this is a place where you can come do camping, see the way it feels like to be in nature, interact with nature. You can also come see animals close range. You can also educate you about these animals and their behaviors. You can also come have um, a camping or um, dinner, bush dinner, in the evening as you see the sunset. So we are ready to receive the numbers. This facility can receive as much as 3,000 when we started the year. On day one of this year, we had over 3,000 visitors visiting this facility. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please do get in touch with us also if you are visiting this channel for the first time for advertising, listing and media services please do contact us on the number provided. Please do subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified when we post our next video. Also check us out here on Facebook and other social media platforms on LinkedIn and on Instagram and stay updated with the latest information in Western Kenya for news, updates and reviews nearest you. This is Visit Kisumu.